Hi, my name is Ivan, I'm the creator of Galen Framework. In the last video I have shown you how to run a JavaScript and take over the WebDriver instance and perform some action on a page. And in this video I would like to show you how to do it in a better way by using a Galen Pages framework that is a small JavaScript framework that allows you to use a page object model. Page object model is a really cool thing. Uh, what it allows you to do, it allows you to create some abstraction layer in your test uh, in which you basically describe the elements on your page and then in your test you just use those elements and basically in, in the test you don't even use the WebDriver instance anymore so you operate on your page object model and this is where you can look it up Galen Pages JavaScript API so I'm gonna demonstrate you how it works let's say that we want to Let's say that we want to actually log in. So we want to type test user at example.com with password test123. And then let's say that we want to check the layout of this page, my notes. So let's quickly uh, create some, some simple my notes test. And we're not going to test that much of the stuff there. Let's do it like this. My notes. Jeez. So I'm going to test this element. My notes page. Now let's create a JavaScript that will allow us to log in. So what we are going to do is first of all we're going to create a page object model. So let's take a look at the documentation. So what we need to do is we need to use a page function. We can give a name to our page and then we will list elements on it. So let's do it here. In this case, we will have to describe two pages. So the welcome page, where we will click the login button, and the login page. Welcome page. a login button so as you can see it's quite simple you give a name to your page and then you just list uh, all the elements on the page that you want to work with so you give a name to the element and then you give the CSS selector and then let's des describe the login page So on the login page, we will need three elements. The username, the text field, the password text field, and the login button. Let's check the username. It's the input name login username. Let's just make it simple. Equals login user.
that's it. We have declared two pages, the bottom page and the bottom page. And now we're going to use them. So we have already the driver instance. What we need to do is we need to instantiate the page. All of these actions on the elements you can find in the documentation. You can see what kind of functions are available. This is the given pages page element. That's actually the element that it is converted from the string. It is converted to a page element and this, these are all the functions that are available. So you can click it, you can type text, and those are actually the functions that we are going to use. We'll click, we'll, we'll click the login button, and then we will need to wait for a login page. The thing is that the website is dynamic, so we actually need to wait until it renders the login page because sometimes the test might be so quick that they will try to click the elements that are not yet uh, rendered. And normally in your test framework you have to wait for the dynamic content to be processed. What is nice about the Galen page is that it actually provides you the, the waiting function for a page based on the elements. So if we describe the username, password and login button, we can wait for them to, to appear on a page. So we can type it like this, login page, wait for it. And this function, it will wait until all the elements that are described here are visible on the page. Now, after we wait for a page, we need to uh, type a username and a password. So we're gonna use the type text function and we will type the which test user at example.com. Login page password type text and login page click. That's it. Let's see how it will work. Now we will need to declare that uh, JavaScript in our test suite. Run log to my node.js. And we will use a different layout file. Okay, and now this test is not home page anymore. It's the my node. Page. Now let's run this test. Let's run just for a desktop and see how it works. That was really quick and we have a failure. Let's see what that is. can find function click line 21 okay oops yeah I forgot the login button sorry for that let's try again and the test have passed. So as you can see we are on my notes page. And what is also interesting is that Galen framework logs all the actions from the Galen pages. You can see that we click the login button on the welcome page, type test user at example.com 
to username on login page. Type the password and then click the login button. So in the end, when we when we write this using the Galen pages uh, in the Galen framework, in the end we actually get the complete steps to reproduce in case there is a bug and we can easily reproduce it by following the, these steps. And also what is interesting that for each action Galen also provides you a, se a selector that was used for this specific element. So you can also check if the selector is correct or not. So that was the simplest example for Galen pages. Thanks for watching.